Welcome back to another video guys. Back up here today. And again, something else has been in, but this time I reckon it is rabbits that are still getting in because look at the state of our Brussels. Anyone seen this before? I'm gonna have a look online. I'm actually got something's eating the stems almost. I've done it on them all. All of them I've got there. I say that one's gone. Can't believe it. But we've got plenty of Brussels on there, so probably give it another couple of days. Pull them off. The wind's blowing the covers off of the uh, strawberries. As you can see, there's all of our strawberries, the runners that we've cut. So hopefully next year, we'll have absolutely tons of strawberries. We'll be able to make jam again, which we all really enjoyed. Garlic, garlic's doing well, still under the cover. Here's my little gem coming up. The old elephant garlic, I will be putting this under. And then the sacrificial one that we've put in. That's here. Still not been touched, which is quite good. Which I'm quite confused about, if I'm honest, about them all being touched, but the uh, garlic hasn't. Obviously still nothing in that bed. Nothing in, well, there's some carrots, but they've just been annihilated. Just looks so empty up here. It's a bit, um, what's the word? It's a bit uh, gutted when you come up here. When you look back at some of the videos, the cabbage, got to get some, some pellets on them to stop the slugs. That one has been eaten, as you can see. I know there's a lot of weeds on here. We haven't got to this bed yet. This one's empty. Then our onion sets, there's 100 onions in here, 100 set onion sets. We've got your normal white onions and then your, your red onions are in there. They're all starting to come up quite nice. Nothing in this bit here. Then you've got your peppers and chilies and scotch bonnets and that, the frost has annihilated them. So I'm just gonna let them die back. And then I'll pull them out, compost them. I've seen online, people say about letting things just die naturally and it sends some of the goodness from the plant back into the soil i think that's with like beans and things but i thought well there's nothing going in there for a couple or another couple of weeks so i thought if i just leave them and see what happens but yeah I'll take some of these these uh what ones are these these peppers I'll take some of them because they're all right these ones they do lovely I'll take them today flowers flowers have just been annihilated we've had quite a hard frost this uh i'd probably say it was the hardest frost uh we've had so far since we've had the allotment this morning it's about minus two but yeah we've still got the lettuce in here still doing all right to be fair grapes grapes have gone now still nothing's under here i, I want to try and make get this on all of them but this this stuff here is quite thick what we've got um it's it's like proper whereas the stuff that we did have on it's quite thin so yeah try and do that over the tomorrow i'm not working tomorrow so i'll get on with that another weeding session if i come in here it looks like a bomb's hit it it's the old uh, wind the loafer plant hasn't liked the frost. So I think tomorrow when I come up here, I'm gonna finish this. I know I keep saying it, but I will finish the greenhouse tomorrow so that that's all sorted. And uh, yeah, garlic's in there. I just thought, pick the camera up while I'm up here for a quick walk around to have a check on everything. Also wanna finish the fence. We've got some more fencing to go down there. So I might come up here nice and early tomorrow, get a few jobs done, but yeah. Other than the uh, Brussels sprouts, everything seems to be doing well up here. We we're also going to try, we didn't know whether it was rabbits. I think this is rabbits now. I mean, the state of all of that. We're going to get some CDs, and just hang some, put some CDs up dangling around in places because a couple of people up at the allotment reckon that pigeons are having a bit of a go up here as well now. So we're going to try and put some of them up as well, just to try and prevent scare things off as much as we can so like i say we at the moment this time of year we're only coming up here 
once every week or so. I think we come up last weekend, done a few jobs. But yeah, just thought I'd give you a quick little run round, show you what it's. So yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, it'd be great if you subscribed. We're just uh, approaching 200 subscribers, which for us is pretty impressive. We're well happy with it. Slow and steady wins the race. But yeah, see you on the next one.